Start with John Corrales. Hey, Brad. Um, you're starting this five games in seven days stretch. Um, is there any sort of, of worry where this team is right now um, that you might be pushing uh, Tatum and Brown like a little a little too much with the minutes as we head into this stretch? Is there any opportunity for them to maybe get a day off during this? It's been a concern all year, John. Um, and we've had, you know, conversations with them and, and tried to make sure that we are, um, you know, listening to them, managing that appropriately. And if it does present itself that one of those guys would need a break because of the density of the schedule, then we will certainly take that. Um, that has not presented itself as of yet. Um, but yeah, that's, you know, with, with uh, I said that in January and February, that was certainly a huge thing for our team. You could, you could see it show itself um, there in a lot of stretches. And so, but now that we have a few more bodies available and everything else, we hope that that isn't the case, but we'll still be managing minutes on the second night of back-to-backs and, um, you know, obviously Kimba's not playing tomorrow night. So um, there's a lot to manage there. Jay King. Brad, one, one thing that Kemba said the other night is that he believes guys need to sacrifice for the team. What do, what do you think players need to sacrifice for you guys? And what mentality do you want from the players uh, as they make those sacrifices? Yeah, I think, I think similar to what I said the other day, we got, we got to be more engaged in each other. We got to bring out, we got to bring out the best in each other. We, we know, especially the core, core players here, they, they know what the strengths of their teammates are. And we've got to be focused on bringing out the best in that. You know, obviously we do have some young guys playing that necessarily haven't been through this before and Peyton and then Aaron played the other night. But there's enough out there that have been back and been together that we got to do a better job of putting each other in position to be successful. And I think there's the other part of that is we have to be able to move on to the next play better. You know, like the one thing that you can't do in basketball is expect anybody to be perfect. You know, and, and I think that we, we hold ourselves um, individually to a high standard. And I think sometimes we hold each other to a high standard where we don't, you know, allow the freedom to make a mistake, sprint back and get a stop. And I, and I think that that is really important. Um, it's a big part of playing together. It's a big part of being a team. And we just haven't been as good at that as we need to be to withstand this stuff right, to withstand the uh, challenges that have been in front of us, um, you know, both before the break and then certainly after. The, the last two games have not been good um, with, the, with the, the necessarily the, you know, there were moments, but, the, but the, we, we've got to look better together. And I think a big part of that is bringing out the best in one another and, you know, Quite frankly, we've got to play like a, a Boston Celtics team should. Tim Bontemps. I was going to ask something sort of along the same lines, Brad, and that you, you've talked a bunch about wanting to see consistency from your group from night to night and, and kind of playing the way you, you think your team should be playing. What are the things that you, you look for to kind of see when things are going the way that you want them to be and that haven't been showing up the way you want them to? I don't think I'm alone in the, the Tim, right? I think our guys like playing. Um, they, they, they like the feeling of playing great together. There's nobody that doesn't like that. And there's nobody in here um, that I feel like is not trying to do that. Like, I just think that for whatever reason, we don't look like we're bringing out the best in each other. And that's what we have to do. Like the teams we're playing are good. They're, they're talented. They have a lot of answers. Um, they've got good players. You know, this, this Orlando team that we're playing today is coming off one of the best wins of their season, if not the best win of their season. And it's not a coincidence because they've got a lot of their best players back in the lineup. And so to beat teams like that, you, you can't be um, to yourself. You have to be um, engaged in the team. And I think, again, I think we have the right people to do that. And I believe that we will do that. But you're right. Until you do it consistently, then it's hard to 
you know, say that you're that. And I think that that that's our next step is like, okay, if, if anything, by the end of these 30 games, we are a team that is really hard to beat on both ends of the court because we play with great togetherness. All right. We'll wrap it up right there. Thanks coach. Thank you. Mm -hmm.